Hey, Geminis. I'm back, y'all, with another reading. This is going to be for July 1st through the 15th. This is a love reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. Whatever resonates, take it with you. Whatever does not, leave it. All right, so we got, I left when I saw you with someone. Hmm. All right, so somebody walked away. I feel you leaving me behind. Yeah. Somebody could also be saying that they knew it was their fault and they blamed you. Give me one more card. I couldn't let you get close to me. All right, so you could be dealing with someone that either you walked away or they walked away because someone saw someone something in someone's phone or saw somebody with somebody. But now somebody's feeling like they're left behind. Like they know, I feel like this is your person that you're dealing with. They know that you have moved to one. They know that they, they feel it. They feel it. <laughs> okay. I feel like you've made a decision. We're going to go ahead and jump into the read because the cards are just flying out. So I feel like you were dealing with somebody that was extremely toxic. Okay. Could be a Capricorn you could have been dealing with. But this person, maybe you felt bound to this person. Maybe this person has some codependency issues or uh, could have been some some addictions. Could have been possible drug addiction or something like that. But this person was always like looking for flaws. Yeah, like for some reason, y'all feel regretful about a decision that y'all made. Um, this person over here is feeling like this isn't fair. I'm getting pity party energy. Let's see what's going on. We got the Ace of Wands as the outcome. And we got the Knight of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. And the Hangman. I'm getting like something's being held up. Something's processed. The process is being held up and things are moving kind of slow. Okay. I feel like you made a good decision. Okay. You made some type of decision that was best for you. I feel like you made... A decision that was best for you. Some of you guys have just been through the ringer, okay? Some of you may have been left out in the cold, abandoned, may have actually not had anywhere to go, like all of that, okay? Now you're in a better position. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. You're in a better position. It took a while, okay? And I feel like some of you were stuck in a situation that you uh, felt betrayed, okay? There was an ending here. And I feel like you did, you done the work on yourself, okay? I feel like you have this new beginning and you're, t you're valuing yourself. You have overcame a lot of obstacles, okay? You've overcame a lot of things here. And I feel like that was the best decision. I feel like you feel like you made the best decision that you needed to make at that time. But I definitely want to see why you feel regretful here. Why are you looking back at the situation? Why is the magician here? The strength card. Yeah. See, you have grown into, like, you believe in yourself so much. Okay, you've overcame so much. Okay, you found the courage and the inner strength to manifest a new beginning, a new start for you. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. I got King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Some of you turned your back on somebody who was cold-hearted or treated you really cold. Um, was very expressive with their words, but they their words and how they express things may have been blunt 
I feel like you were stuck in a situation that you knew you needed to get out of, that you knew you needed to find balance and peace. And I feel like you made the best decision at that time that you needed to do. You did what you needed to do. Yeah, this person, this situation is like giving you a headache. I just see it like nine of swords. Like this is a six of pentacles and two of swords. It's like maybe this keeps replanting your head. You think about it and you look at how far you've come. Okay. And it's just like when you think about it, sometimes you. I feel like some of y'all just is it's just like, oh, uh, oh, uh, I went through that. Some of you had to do some real repairing for sure, for sure. The Three of Pentacles and the Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Maybe you found out some truth or possibly about a situation, a third party situation with the Three of Pentacles and Three of Swords. You found out some type of truth here. You poured, you had to pour a lot into yourself. Okay. A lot of you guys had to heal for sure, for sure. You've healed from a situation. You got this new beginning. Some of you are stable, okay? Some of you are possibly getting getting ready to move into a new home. Um, you're around a caring family. Some of you are around family. Some of you just got a new job, a pay raise. Like things are peaceful for you. You got out of a situation. You stood your ground. You stood up for yourself. But I feel like there's something that you could still be holding on to. You're getting ready to see something that this happens out of the blue. We got the Tower and the Page of Swords. There's something that happens out of the blue. Maybe there's a shocking phone call. Maybe you're surprised to hear from this person. Maybe this person pops up out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Could be an Aries. Could be a baby father, a husband, an ex-husband. I'm getting ex-husband, ex-boyfriend. This person pops up out of nowhere. Yeah, eight of cups. Maybe this person walked away from you and left you to pick up the pieces. Now they want to come back and explain or express to you. Yeah, now they want to come back and talk. Yeah, they're coming. They're coming. Somebody, you're moving towards somebody or somebody's coming towards you. This person could be at a distance from you. Why is the Five of Cups here? I feel, I'm getting that. I'm getting that you feel regretful. Like some type of feelings are coming over you. Um, the Two of Cups. This relationship was dark. Somebody was all about money. This relationship did end. Um, but someone is coming back. Somebody's coming back around. Ace of Cups. Somebody's coming back around. Could be for sex. Could be. You know, somebody's coming in with the offer. They're coming in. It could be a Libra. Listen. Karma could have hit this person. This person is just hopeless. And you have the four of cups and the storm. This person is feeling hopeless. They are going through some type of burden or hardship. This person could be trying to get you to feel sorry for them. They're still toxic. Ain't nothing changed.
this person, I feel like um, they know how to pull on your heartstrings. They know your weaknesses for them. They know your soft spot for them. Be careful because this person could be coming around. Like they have intentions of trying to get something out of you. We got the Ace of Wands as the outcome. And the Queen of Wands that could be coming around for sex. Knight of Swords. They're coming in for sure. And this is, I feel like this is the ex. For sure, for sure, it's somebody from your past. I'm getting unfinished business. For some of you, there's talks of a divorce. Somebody's going to say, hey, I haven't haven't talked to you in a while. Um, they could ask you for, for a favor, money or something like that. I don't feel like this person could be trusted. They're still showing up as the devil. So I don't know if this person has some type of addiction or some type of codependency issue or something like that or obsessive behavior. Um, but that's what I'm getting. They're coming back because this is their energy. They feel that you are moving on. What does this person want to say to Gemini? You're too good for me. I don't deserve you. So this person knows that you're too good for them. And they know they don't deserve a damn thing from you. I know we will be together. So this they're arrogant and cocky as hell to think that you'll just take them back. But they want to take things slowly. Let's take take it slowly, please. So they're going to creep in. I have seen the future with you. I want you by my side. But I'm so scared to face this right now. I really miss you. My heart hurts. Let's get one more. I'm going to get help. I know I need to. I really feel like that. I really feel like someone that you could be dealing with, like they have some type of addiction or some type of issue that they may need to go seek therapy. Okay. You're, I feel like don't let this person come and dump their baggage onto you while you're trying to heal or you've already healed and then they come around trying to get you to feel sorry for them. Like, I just keep getting like, they want you to feel sorry for them. Let's get some advice. Give me a message for Gemini's. We got success. All right. And compromise. Unlikely one of the junk. Okay. We have yes. No need to worry. The situation will improve. And then we got improving health. And then at the bottom of the deck, we got reconsider. Okay, so there's something that spirit wants you to reconsider. Okay, I feel like you guys have a lot of success. You've done something successfully, especially since I saw the six of wands there. You've completed something successfully, like something that you did was successful. My success here, judgment, yeah. Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. You've moved on successfully from this situation. Okay, you walked away. You put yourself first and you walked away. Compromise, King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this person is super duper irrational. Understand this about this person. This person, this person, I can't even talk right. This person could be a grown man, could be, um, how do they say it? And uh, the person just looks like a grown man, but this is their behavior. The Knight of Swords is irrational, okay? He's very childlike, um, impulsive, okay? 
the Eight of Pentacles and the Strength card. Somebody here has a very strong mind. And someone likes to uh, always be right. They never feel like they're wrong. Okay. Be careful with that. Because when you try to compromise with this person, somebody's going to try to make you feel small. Okay. Now we got yes here. Knight of Cups. There is communication coming from this person. This person is going to offer you um, some type of Ten of Cups. Like they're going to promise you, like we're going to be together. Let's do this. Let's do that. The Magician. There comes somebody. They're coming in to make your offer. But then this person is selfish as fuck. Okay. We got the Four of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. They're coming to take. They're coming to steal. You cannot trust this person. I don't think you should trust this person. All right? No need to worry. You got the Eight of Cups. Some of you are going to decide, like, yeah, I'm done with that. I'm, I've walked away with that. I've already gave them multiple chances, okay, to be in this connection. And all we did was argue and fight, and I'm done with that. The situation will improve. You got the Eight of Swords and the Star, okay? This is healing, but then this is being stuck, okay? So I feel like some of you felt like tied and bound to this, to this person or this situation, but you found a, some type of hope. And, and listen, Spirit is saying, look, you're going to regret it because this person is still toxic. This person still has some issues that need to be resolved. This person needs to do some healing and also do some meditation or some type of balance or healing because this person is extreme. I'm getting extreme. Improving health. King of Pentacles. Um, Ten of Pentacles. And the Empress. Wow. Four of Cups and the Three of Swords. Somebody is extremely depressed here. Somebody could be going through a very depressive state because of their finances. Somebody went through a glow up. And I feel like it's you. And this person is over here depressed, okay? You got to be careful with this energy because they could be bring, um, projecting that energy onto you. And like I said, their energy is like, oh, that's not fair. It's not right. I'm getting like a pity party. Like they want you to have a pity party and feel sorry for them. Like, mm -mm. if you've already done the work and you've healed yourself, don't go back to that situation because I just don't, they're still toxic. All right, so you guys let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm going to chat with you guys later. I am available for personal readings. Um, the contact information to reach out to me in regards to a personal reading is in the drop box below. All right, chat with you guys later. Ciao.